squat we're going to cover in our squat series is the overhead squat. So we've covered the air squat, the front squat and the back squat up to this point. The overhead squat is actually the most demanding squat in the squat series and it will highlight most issues with mobility and technical ability. So Chris is now going to set up for his overhead squat. You'll notice a distinct difference in the grip though. So firstly Chris will go into it like he would a back squat. He'll walk the bar out of the rack and now from this point here we will take his hands wide to what we call a snatch grip. Okay, we will cover the snatch grip and it has been covered in the snatch series of our videos. Okay, so that is covered, just not in today's session. From here, Chris has got a nice high chest, his elbows are under the bar, and the grip is out by our snatch grip that we've just talked about. He's going to sit and drive that bar overhead, keeping the elbows nice and locked, the elbows are facing down, the armpits and the biceps are facing the front wall the whole time. Okay, what we don't want to see in this position is this internal rotation here. We want to keep everything nice and locked and keep that pressure up on the bar. Okay, and move on down the back slightly. Good. Okay. What we don't want to see when we're in this position is soft shoulders or soft elbows, okay? Because that's when we're going to lose tension on that bar. We need to keep pressing up on that bar the whole time. So Chris is now going to go back overhead for me in a second. And when he goes overhead, he's going to keep attention on the bar and he's going to go straight down into that squat and just hold the bomb position for us. So just go for us now. Good. And now Chris is going to adopt the same squat stance. He's going to hit the bottom of his squat for me. Now, the chest is up, the hip crease is below the knee, the weight is on the heels and that bar is directly over his midline. He's going to stand that bar straight up and then bring the bar back down onto his back right position. Good. Well done. And walk it in. Do a walk it round to the side line. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, cool. So now we're going to go from the side on view. We're just going to see how that bar sits over Chris's midline. So it's going to do exactly the same again. So the setup's exactly the same. You go for the snatch grip. He's now going to drive that bar overhead. Just a quick point to note if you've got a lot of weight on this bar, you can do any form of shoulder to overhead to get to this position. So a split jerk is normally um, what we see, or if you're a real badass, go straight to that snatch balance. Okay? So, drive that bar overhead. Okay, cool. So in this setup position, we can now see that bar is directly over Chris's midline and his heels. When he goes into the bottom of that squat, the bar's going to stay there. Perfect. And that bar now sits over his midline. Okay, that weight is stacking directly over his heels and his hip. He's now going to drive that to full extension and finish that squat for us. Good, and bring the bar down. Okay, we see a lot of issues with this squat. First issue is poor shoulder mobility. So if Chris has got poor shoulder mobility, he cannot keep that bar over his midline. And the bar tends to come in front or sometimes too far behind. Let's just demonstrate what it looks like if the bar's too far in front. Ooh. So Chris is going to go down into a squat. Already we can see the shoulder in front. And as he goes down, the bar is now coming this way. We can see the shifting weight because he's physically trying to fight that. And if the person's got too or not enough shoulder mobility, we see this. Oh, sorry. And the bar will finish in front. Okay? Apologies for our smashing in there. Sorry. Okay, cool. So Chris will now bring that bar back into the uh, rack. And that will be the bar. If the bar ends up in the front, we will lose the bar in front. Okay? Especially if we've got any load overhead. The next one Chris is going to demonstrate is bringing the chest down and putting that bar too far over his back. Okay, so. You know what I'm saying, mate? Sorry. <laughs> cool, he's going to come down into that squat for me. The chest is going to drop and he's going to pull his shoulders back. Now, this puts a lot of tension to his shoulders and stand there. I'm not going to get him to hold this position for too long. That's a very demanding position to be in and bring the bar down. That position there was where the bar, I'm going to grab a P25 actually, so Chris can demonstrate it a little bit easier. Just for two seconds. What are those? Just going to that end and pull the bar behind you. Yeah. So what Chris just demonstrated there, but it's a great combining position, it's not good for your shoulders, so I'm getting to do some PVC pipe, is now the chest is down and the bar is behind him, okay? Where before we had the bar over the midline, it is now too far behind. And if I've got a lot of weight on this, you're going to lose that bar behind you. So we need to make sure that when we do overhead squats, we keep that bar over our midline the whole time. Chris just demonstrated one more overhead squat for us. This is what we're looking for in our perfect overhead squat. Remember the key points, nice little open position, keeping those elbows locked. The bar is directly over the midline, 
one hip crease below the uh, knee, rise over our heels, and then we drive straight to foot extension and relax. That is the overhead squat.